Hello everyone! In today's edition of Mini Vista Deer, we're gonna bring out two swords for review. One is 600-ish katana and another one is 100 right here. From the look of them, you don't see much difference. Kind of like similar constructions and also they have like a same length. The whole length of the katana is around 41 inches with the hilt almost 11 inches and the blade length is 28 inches. So, uh, what set them apart from each other is, let's start from the, the zuka, or you may call it a hilt, is wrapped up with the cord. And uh, the 100 inch is using material of polyester, but this one uses cotton. The difference between the polyester and cotton is one, when you practice, you have those sweaty hands. The, the cotton can absorb those sweat really easily, so you don't have those feelings of slippery. But polyester, no, if you know about the material of polyester. Second, the more you use, the tighter it will get if you use cotton. But for polyester, it only gets loose, loose, loose. Here's what I'm saying. You see, for this one, we have been using for the cutting tester multiple times. It just stay right there, really stable, and has a like really good stability. But for this one, as you can see, this is a made of polyester. You can just use your fingers to to move around it really easily. All right. So inside of the ito, you will see the reskin right here. But this one is a fake one. I gotta be honest with you because when you use your finger, here's how I test the real and the fake. For the fake one, it has the feeling of plastic, but it's soft. You can just use your fingertip to pinch it, it easily sucks in. But for the genuine skin, it's really strong and you don't easily pinch your finger in and it has like really really sturdy feelings so that's one way you can test your katana so the next come to the feelings uh, let's start from the super right here this one is made of brass casting out and this one is made of zinc alloy so the difference is, is in extreme weathers the zinc alloy can crack let's see under 20 Celsius degree, but the brass has those really durabilities even in extreme weathers. You don't want your hand like you don't want your sword kind of like wobbling around, especially the suba and the, the habaki. So when it get, get loose, you will you can guess what is gonna happen with your sword. So then it comes to the saya. Uh, you don't see much difference, it's all made of wood, hard wood, of course. But and this one is a hand lacquer painting, so to create those beautiful dragonfly seam on the surface of the scabbard. But this one, there's nothing on it. It's just easier to make it. So this hand painting gives this sword not just elegance, but also a touch of like a jewelry, which the seam consisted with the whole blade. As you can see, the super it has those dragonfly pattern on the surface, and also the makuki has the dragonfly as well so it just make it a collectible art and um, now I think it's time to put our hands on the sword to get a feel of it so this one 600 ish I'll just do a little bit of shaking and wobblings it just stay right there really stable you don't see a lot of shaking or instabilities but uh, how about this one let's just unsheath it I'll just put it right here our next review. How about this one? Did you hear that? The wobbling sound? It's just too easy to pull out the katana. It's not a faded very well in my perspective. I'm gonna take all the blade out so so you can have a better look at the blade. Let's try to appreciate the, the different craftsmanship. And so if you take a closer look at the blade, you will notice there's one beautiful pattern on this blade, but there's none on this one, because this one is made of wood steel and also combined with long-term traditional forging and folding skills, polishing, grinding, heat treatment, and also clay tempering to create this beautiful harmonies on the blade surface as well. It does not just give this sword an aesthetic will, it also enhances the stabilities, the toughness, and the flexibilities. 
of the blade. But for this one, it's made of a manganese steel. It's also folded and forged multiple times. In terms of hardness and the toughness and the flexibilities, you cannot compare with this wood steel. All right, this is the big differences. And uh, from the structure of the blade, as you can see, it's all uh, has those medium length kisaki from here, very ob very obvious if you look at it closely. And with these beautiful bull highs almost to the tip, it does not just decrease the blade itself, enhance it the durability of the blade. But there's one small detail I need to mention is about the habaki. You, as you can see, these two habaki is all fitted very well, but this one, it has those hand carving evidence right here, all done by the hand. So give this sword a touch of luxury. So make it more valuable. Like all the things said, beauty is in the beholder's eye. So in conclusion, when you buy your first katana, you're gonna think about the price, and also you're thinking about the quality of the fittings, and also the material of the blade, and also very important, the forging and folding skill of this blade. With all the information keeping your mind, I believe you will find your dream sword. So if you are looking for more information, you can always check out our website, soldier.com. So until next time, may your blades stay sharp and your folds stay down.